Now, I get asked this question a lot, how do I relocate a venomous snake from a yard? Well, first off, you gotta have the right tools. Right here we have a Western Dumbat rattlesnake and you can see I'm using a snake hook. The way you use a snake hook is again, you wanna make sure you're safe and the animal's uh, safe. Now typically you wanna use two snake hooks for a snake this long so that way you can support his body. You wanna make sure that this guy is comfortable and the more comfortable he is, the more likely he's going to cooperate. So notice I'm just inching him over to my bucket and as I get him over to my bucket, I will just simply move his head in there. Let's go ahead and put the whole snake in there, nice. And then you would take your lid, put it on with your hook, and you would bucket this guy. It's really, really easy to remove and or relocate a snake based off of just using a snake hook. Now if you get super fancy, you can use tongs. And I'll show you the tong method. Now tongs are one of those things that get a bad rep because there's a right and a wrong way to use them. You do not grab the animal and clamp the tongs down as tightly as possible. You wanna make sure that the animal, again, is supported and is comfortable. So if you notice, I'm going to tong around the mid body. I get a nice gentle grip and then I will move the animal towards the bucket. Notice I did not sling him or anything like that. I keep him comfortable so that way he remains calm and then he will do exactly as I need him to do. Right there, light grip. I will ease him up, put him in the bucket, and there we go. Diamondback rattlesnake, locked and loaded inside the bucket. You would then tong your lid, put it on there. Again, these things are not meant to be pliers. You are not trying to squeeze a rattlesnake to death. You're trying to make him comfortable. If you want to make sure you're good, the animal's good, make sure you're comfortable, he's comfortable. I know most people say, if I have a venomous snake in my yard, I ain't comfortable. And that's all right. For those people like you, call a professional. Me and several of my colleagues, several of the people do snake removals around our area all the time. It's not that big of a deal. As long as we're available, we'll come help you out and remove and or relocate a snake. We try and get people to keep snakes on their property because they are so ecologically valuable. But in some instances, like I don't want copperheads in my yard around my girl. So I don't go around killing every single one of them. I just put them inside of a bucket, move them a little ways away, and then let them go. And that's an important thing about relocation that a lot of people don't understand is they think you just drive the snake off miles and miles. The farther you drive them away from their capture site, this increases their chance of death. They'll actually wander around lost for a long time. It increases their chance of being picked off by a predator, not being able to successfully find prey, and also being hit by a car, discovered by someone and being killed that way. So in order to keep the animal having the highest chance of life, the relocation actually has to be done fairly close to the capture site. Usually once an animal is captured, they kind of avoid that area because they start to associate it with a predator. So if an animal has to be relocated once, it usually doesn't happen again, but say it does happen twice, that'll typically take care of it. And so the big thing is, instead of ever reaching for the shovel, reaching for the, the gun to kill a snake, make sure you actually do the right thing, help these guys to survive, put them in a bucket just as I did. It's really, really easy. Or call a professional if you're uncomfortable and you don't want to do that. Because honestly, your safety is number one, snake safety is number two. Make sure that you're safe. If you don't feel comfortable getting a snake, call one of us. We will definitely come and grab it for you. And we'll make sure this animal goes away happy and healthy. God bless, guys. Have a great day.